what's up guys so in today's video i'll show you how to use obs on armor tv okay so what you have to do is go to the description down below and there's a few links so make sure you have obs downloaded and if you don't have that just click the link and click on your operating system so i have windows so i'll click windows then the most important part is you want to download the obs camera method one so all you have to do is of course just click this download button and it'll just download into your downloads. And if for some reason the first method does work, I'll leave a link down below for the second method. All you have to do is just click download and I'll show you how to set this up soon. Now that you've downloaded the files, we can set up the camera. Okay, to change the camera name, it's quite simple. All you have to do is just locate the first method that you've downloaded, right click it and click extract all. Then click extract and a new window will pop up. All you have to do is just open it and you'll have two files. You want to open up the first file and the second file like this. And you have to do the same for the second one. And that's it, you changed your camera name. Once you have done that, restart OBS. Now that we have changed the camera name, we can start setting it up. Okay, so in OBS, all you have to do is just click this plus button and click video capture device. On here, I'll name this camera and press OK. So as you can see, the camera has been added. So all you have to do is just click start virtual camera. Okay, so when you're on Omer TV, all you have to do is go on the three dots and click settings. At the top of the search bar, type in camera, click site settings, click camera, and from here, select the new camera, which we named. So to get this working on Omer TV, as you can see, we have denied access to our devices. So all you have to do is just unplug your cameras or deactivate them. This is only for laptops or computers that have a built-in camera. All you have to do is right click the start button and go to device manager. On this window, open up the cameras tab, locate the camera, right click the camera and click disable device. Press yes and that's done. So once you unplug your camera, you have to just refresh on my TV. And as you can see, the virtual camera is working. What you want to do now is plug in your camera or activate the camera again or enable the device if you're on the laptop. Once you have plugged in your camera, all you have to do is just right click the camera, click properties, deactivate, and then activate it again. And as you can see, the camera's working. In this part of the video, I'll show you how to change the camera name using the second method. Okay, so if the first camera method didn't work, all you have to do is just right click the second method and click extract all, and then press extract. A new folder will pop up. All you have to do is just open this folder and click OBS camera. Press more info and click run anyway. So this window should pop up. All you have to do is just select this camera and change this to HD camera C922X and press set. And there you go, you've changed your camera name. To exit out of this, all you have to do is just click this. And that's it, you changed your camera name. And once you have done this, you must restart your computer. And that's it. Now you can use OBS on Omer TV. Make sure to like and subscribe and check out these other videos I've made.